Today I will be making beef jerky out of A5 Wagyu tenderloin. So I found this website off an Instagram ad, crowdcow.com, and they have everything on this site, including an entire menu of Wagyu beef. So I chose the tenderloin and it's 90 bucks for six ounces pretty pricey but as you can see there's tons of fat in there and that's what I like for my beef jerky so I cut it up and I marinated it overnight once I pulled it out I drained the marinade on one of my dehydrator racks I don't pat dry the marinade off the jerky I like it to be nice and moist when it goes into the dehydrator Seven and a half to eight hours later, it's done. And I like to season it with my favorite barbecue seasoning. And uh, the extra moisture helps the seasoning stick to the jerky. And as you can see, it's already falling apart and there's tons of gooey candy fat in there. And that's what makes this jerky taste so good. So this is by far the most tender beef jerky I've ever made. and. Uh, just as if you seared it on a pan, um, it still has that fall apart texture like pork belly. It's jerky and you wouldn't need teeth to eat this. So my wife, she's a vegetarian. She would call herself a fakeitarian, but she hardly ever eats meat. She almost ate all of this by mistake. She only loved me two pieces. Um, she didn't know that I hadn't had any yet. She almost ate it all. I would have been super bummed. Mmm, holy cow. This is the best beef jerky I've ever had. So when I normally make beef jerky, I usually go for the cuts of meat that have a high fat content because that's the way I like it. With this, um, this is just over the top. It's so good. Anyways, this video is over.